Welcome, Namaste and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. My name is Dr. Shah and in this video you're going to get amazing mind-boggling information on male fertility testing at home. So this video we're going to discuss about home testing for male fertility or home-based tests for male infertility assessment. Now the simplest test that you can do for assessing male infertility is called as the semen analysis or the sperm test. And basically what happens is when you go, when you do a semen analysis, you are supposed to visit a fertility clinic and supposed to give a semen sample corrected by masturbation in a certified andrology laboratory with a good quality control program. So basically what happens is in the andrology laboratory, the laboratory embryo andrologist will take the semen sample, process it, liquefy, I mean allow the sample to liquefy, will allow it to, will, will process it and give you a full-fledged report that tells you about the sperm concentration, the sperm motility, sperm morphology, the semen volume, the liquefaction time, the seminal pH and a host of other information including the sperm morphology with about five um, subcategories under the morphology scoring criteria. So the, the, the semen analysis report, you know, is actually, you know, one of the probably the best tests that you can do for male infertility. And if you ask me from a clinical perspective and also looking at the evidence and the data, uh, I would strongly recommend that you go visit an androgy laboratory in person and consider doing a test if you are getting evaluated for male fertility. However, over the last three to four years and the last five years, a lot of home testing for male infertility has come, a lot of home-based tests for assessing sperm count or sperm motility have come in the market. In fact, a couple of these tests have also managed to get what's called as an US FDA approval or a CE, European Union approval for, you know, uh, patients, uh, for patient usage. And patients can, patients can actually buy these tests directly online from the respective vendors. But uh, here's what happened, you know, I looked at a study which was published in the Journal of Fertility and Sterility in the year 2019 and I had also, you know, I comprehensively, I had also looked at all of these tests, the, the testing methodology and the, the kits that they are using, you know, with this home-based uh, sperm testing assays and what I could find was these home-based tests uh, have, you know, uh, you have, have tremendous inadequacies in accurately estimating the semen parameters. And um, here are a few things that I, you know, kind of noted uh, noted as problems with respect to home-based testing for male infertility. So point number one, uh, these home-based tests for male infertility are not cheap. One, they're very expensive. So the average cost of the test ranges anywhere from, you know, all the, starting from about $29 all the way up to 100 USDs. But in India, you can get a semen analysis for as low as $5 or $10, which is about 600 to, is anywhere from 350 rupees to 750 rupees. When you compare with the home-based tests, they start at around 2,000 to 3,000 rupees and they go all the way to 10,000 rupees. So home-based sperm testing is not feasible for our country at all. Point number two, uh, most of these tests, or I mean, I mean all of these tests, do not report on, you know, extensively on all the sperm sperm parameters as well as semen parameters. So when you do a semen analysis in a, in a well, uh, you know, in a sorted out laboratory, in a good laboratory, you will get you know about 15 to 20 points in depth about your, your semen that is you'll get the semen volume the ph the viscosity the liquefaction time you'll also get the information on the concentration motility morphology you know everything and everything almost everything including the vitality ph etc but these home based sperm tests do not report these many parameters in fact none of the home sperm test method methods or the home testing for male fertility kits report on sperm concentration, motility and morphology simultaneously. None of these tests do it. So that's a major, major drawback because when we do a fertility treatment, we need all the clinical information and we need as much information as possible. Point number three is there are, there's no quality control as far as these tests are concerned. So in a good semen analysis laboratory or a good andrology laboratory, there's something called internal quality control and external quality control. And that keeps you know, variation between uh, inter-observer variation to a minimal so that to a, to, a, to a certain extent when you go for testing you know your reports are accurate but with these home tests accuracy is a major major problem. Uh, the next point, you know, the fourth point is these tests can be very very misleading. Sometimes a patient will have a genuine fertility problem the home test may show a normal report and remember even normal in a semen, even a normal report in a conventional semen analysis is something which is very tricky and the patient may you know lose the motivation to seek a fertility treatment he would assume that his home test was normal and he would he would never seek out any treatment well the female partner will be subjected to all sorts of treatments where it's not even required so 
please be very wary of these home testing uh, kits and home testing uh, based methodology so the motivation to seek treatment where there's a hidden problem may also be lost so that's another problem that i noticed all right now what i have done here for you in this particular video is if you look at the I, i'm going to i'm going to show you a table now and if you look at the table what what we are going to look at all the various home testing methods that are currently uh, home testing kits and methodologies that are available in the market just look look on your right you, the table will pop up and as you can clearly see let's go through each of these home testing uh, you know methodologies one by one so the first one is called as the microscope evaluation kit and this microscope evaluation kit has a cost of 100 dollars which is about 7500 rupees and the biggest problem is the user who's purchasing the kit has to do the sperm count so there's going to be a major problem in correctly estimating and why would you spend 6500 rupees for a simple sem analysis when you can do it for 600 or 500 rupees the next test is the sperm check home fertility test and the sperm check uh, for uh, home fertility test has a major problem because it does not evaluate sperm motility as you can clearly see the cost is about 39 dollars if it doesn't evaluate sperm motility what can you do with that report might as well throw it in the dustbin right motility is the probably the most important sem parameter and the test doesn't evaluate that and the biggest problem is it has 98% accuracy up to a sperm concentration of 20 million if the counts go below 20 million per ml the test will not pick up then look at the next test swim count the swim count kit method ha has a sensitivity of 95% up to a, uh, provided the sperm concentration is 5 million per ml and above and 20 million ml per ml again here it does not accurately estimate sperm concentration again this test there's absolutely no use then you have the fertility score test and then the track test again the same problem that one of the tests does not evaluate con sperm concentration the other test does not evaluate sperm motility then look at the uh, men's loop test right the men's loop test is combined with a smartphone so there are three of these home sperm tests are basically done in combination with the smartphone which allow for you know tracking the uh, sperm to zoa but the problem is again the sperm concentration sperm motility uh, although it evaluates it the accuracy is only 83 percent that's what that can be very misleading and the user must again count the sperm however the cost wise it's about 15 dollars so it seems to be quite okay but still i wouldn't recommend it and then the, the among the most popular tests over here is the EO smartphone based device and here again the problem is 6 million per ml so unless, the, unless or until the count is over 6 million per ml you cannot use this test and large proportion of patients with male fertility problems the count is going to be less than 10 million per ml or even less than 5 million per ml and uh, the last one is the same uh, home based test again a smartphone based test supportive data is you know lacking on this particular test and cannot be recommended it's quite expensive at well, 45 dollars so as you can clearly see you know from this particular uh, uh, table that i showed you none of these tests can accurately tell all components of your semen analysis properly and the biggest problem with all these tests is that none of these tests can actually detect azoospermia which is a very important clinical condition that affects about one percent to about five percent of men visiting a fertility clinic azoospermia means no sperm in the sample not just azoospermia these tests cannot even detect severe oligozoospermia or asthenozoospermia which means uh, which, which means there's no motile sperm at all this is because when you do a semen analysis we look at 400 fields under the microscope manually and it takes about one and a half to two hours to give an accurate you know sperm report or semen analysis testing report so bearing this in mind i hope you'll bear this in mind and please please don't waste your hard-earned money on all these uh, you know uh, all these home-based sperm tests or home-based male fertility tests please refrain testing from male fertility at home come to the clinic visit your doctor for a proper consultation you can do your semen test you can collect your semen at home and then bring it to the lab and give you don't even have to meet the doctor so there are methodologies for that so there are techniques where you can do collect your semen sample at home there are specialized containers transport containers available for that so you don't have to come to the lab in the bar and collect it in the lab in the androgy lab or in a bathroom in the hospital we so we perfectly understand what what difficulties patients face all said and done always visit your uh, nearby androgist or urologist or fertility specialist try to avoid you know getting into this home based fertility testing none of these tests are well validated at least from the clinical perspective they might have got the us fda approval that does not mean they work so please bear this in mind and i hope you enjoyed this video please share this with all your friends and loved ones this is dr shah welcome and namaste